Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY. And I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and a big welcome to any of yours. So if you follow me on social media, which the links are down below, you'll have seen a list of everything needed for today's project. So I'm going to go ahead and go over what all you're going to need. So let's get right to it. All right, so first thing you're going to need is you're going to need three of these trick-or-treat pale plastic pumpkins. I don't really know what they're called. Well, it's called a pumpkin pail. Um, I got their $2 a piece at Walmart. And I really don't think that's a bad price. So I went ahead and got that. So you're going to need that. You're going to need some floral foam. This is the foam I have. So this is what I'm using. You're going to be needing some, excuse me, some different Halloween floral. And you can also use fall floral also. And then you're going to be needing some glue. I'm using hot glue. So that is all you really need for this project. All right, y'all, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take, give me a second. I'm gonna take and I'm going to try to glue down this thing and I might have to use something different but I did want to try to glue it down I'm sorry because I don't want it moving and I don't think it's going to work it's fine for temporary but you might want to use a different glue besides hot glue to attach the floral foam to the bottom of the pumpkin and as you can see it's not centered I'm, I'm so horrible at that y'all but it's staying down for now so now we're gonna move on to the next step all right y'all so what I'm planning on doing is I'm taking the different things and I cut them down to size because we don't want them too too big and I'm just going to try to stick them in here and do the best I can what I think will look good. So, I want that pretty much in the middle. And we're just trying to... And as you can see, when you look at them, they have... I hot glued the flowers so they look more right. And they have little hot glue strings down. And I'm leaving that because of the fact that I think it'll work very well for what I am trying to do which is make it creepy looking you know Halloween vibe Oopsie. sorry just trying to let me move it over a little bit because I need to be able to see what I'm doing I'm just trying to get some floral in here where it covers all over. Oops. Apparently, I'm going to take this off. Give me a second. Now, you don't have you don't have to do it this way. You can do a lot more floral than I did. I'm just trying to fill it in as best I could and I really like this little spider one so I did that too and it's fine if it goes underneath the pumpkin um, let me see I think I'm gonna do the last one this black rose with the eyeball And there you go. I think this was really cute and this is the first step. See, it doesn't take much and I think it fills it up very nicely and I left this on there to make it look even more like the pumpkin peel. So that is it for that step. 
Alright, for the next step, we're going to take the handles off of these two because we really don't need them. Let me see how I'm going to do this. Now, when you do your, I meant to tell you, when you do your floral uh, arrangement, you don't have to cut them like I did. But if you do, you'll need a pair of wire cutters, and the wire cutters will work very well to cut the um, handles. I'm sorry, I couldn't think of what it was called. It just... I'm going to do this side. Make it a little easier on myself. I don't know why i got to make things difficult. You can literally cut them right on this side so that they're easy to reach. Okay, so the next step is very, very simple. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these on top of each other. And I'm just adding hot glue around the little edge of the bottom of the, the little outlet of the bottom so that they will stay together. And that is all you're doing for the next step. And because I don't have a lot of room, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, the next thing I'm going to do. I want to take these leaves because I thought they were interested. It comes in a pack at Dollar Tree. That was this was in online. And if you can't find these, you can just use regular leaves. And I'm going to glue them. On the like that. I thought it would be interesting. So let's see how it works. them in certain spots so and I kind of want to do the whole thing so let's see if we can do that now this is just something that popped in my head when my husband showed me these and I'm pretty sure I saw it on another crafters video but I don't know what it is so I can't really tell y'all So, if y'all notice what video it is, y'all are free to tell me because I'm pretty sure I saw someone take these little pumpkins and make a floral thingy. But I'm just taking. And doing like that and I'm gonna go all the way around and I'm gonna I don't want to cover up the face too much I know I kind of got it over the eye but that's fine so I'm gonna stop when I get there because you, you want to see the faces that's part of the whole point of this to have the little jack o' lantern faces and these leaves come in I found them in two different just black and then the ones with the purple on it well, actually, this looks like it has gold on it. So it might have came in more than two. I don't know. It was really hard to tell. So it looks like three colors. There's just plain black. The gold um, leaves. And then the purple leaves. Sparkles. So. I think this will be enough. You don't have to go completely around it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. This is just... And like I said, the little spider webs, that, that's what I call them, that the hot glue is. It doesn't matter if it's on there because it just makes it look more creepy. And yeah, I think I'm going to leave it like that. I don't want it to get too, too crazy. 
And so you're going to put the third one on top of that and go like that. But what I want to do is I was thinking, and let's see how it looks before I decide. I was thinking I would take this one spot here and put a flower there. doesn't matter if it comes up on the next one because the whole point of this is to fill the space so to speak so I think that's cute oops I dropped it <laughs> so I probably have to work on the flower a little bit more I gotta make sure it stays and then we'll move on to the next step And as you can see, we're going to put the last one on and go from there. Just do the same thing you did with the first, the middle one. I honestly believe this would be a really pretty decoration to put on your front porch step whatever and if you're worried about the weight seeing how this is a um, lightweight thing you can always add rocks or something in them as you glue them down so that they don't come up so there's my first one I'm trying to make sure it doesn't get too chaotic Move them around and glue them down. This makes me think of the stems also. You know, the top of the actual top of the pumpkin. So that works out pretty well. But yeah, like I was saying. If you're worried, if you're going to put this outside and you're worried that it is too lightweight, feel free to add, you can go to Dollar Tree and get rocks, a bag of rocks for like $1.25. It's not a big bunch, but it'd probably be enough to put a couple on each one to help hold it down, or at least the bottom one, or fill up the bottom one even to help hold it down. You might not need to do the whole thing. And you can even do this, which I might go back and do the bottom. You know, a couple of them just flip over and glue to it to help it um, have a different look. So they don't all look the same. I don't think I'm going to put a flower on this one. I think I'm just going to leave it at the leaves. We have to see. Or maybe I could find a spider. <gasps> I have bats. You know, that's just extra. You don't have to do that. You can just put more floral. But I have bats. So let me get a bat. Alright, y'all. Before we get to the bat, this is extra. You do not have to do this. I just thought it was really cool. Um... These skeleton hands I found at Dollar Tree, and they are the best looking ones I've ever seen at the Dollar Tree. I'm absolutely obsessed with these. The only thing I would change is that they had a right and a left hand, not just right hand. 
but I'm happy with it. I don't sound. So I'm literally just going to stick it in here just for another creep factor. All right, y'all, let's move on to the, what I was doing the bat. So I got these the other year at Dollar Tree. Oops, hold on. They're little clips. You just take the clip out the back and then we're just going to glue it on there. And there you go. So that is literally all you have to do for this project. And I think it came out looking pretty cool. And I will show y'all a full thing of it. Hold on a second. So there's the top. There's the first pumpkin. There's the middle pumpkin. And there's the bottom. And as you can see, they're kind of all going in different directions. These two, the top and the bottom, are almost lined up, but they're a little off. And it just makes it more interesting. And again, I am not cleaning off the little spider webs from the glue because it just makes it look like it's got cobwebs on it, which makes it more creepy. All right, so I really enjoyed this project. It was super simple. I think it came out looking great. If you liked it, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below because it does help my channel to grow. All right, I'll see you all next time. Bye.